hey guys welcome back to my channel how you're doing how you're hanging how's your families hope everything is cool in this corona times hopefully it will be over soon so today if you found your way back to my channel that means you are at the right place girl and don't forget to like and subscribe the videos that are already up so today i'm going to be sharing uh with you my tips um on uh, things that i don't use on my hair so the first one is going to be i do not never ever ever relax my ends so i always relax only my new growth and that's it don't be touching those uh, ancestors or them ogs because they are the most fragile um of out of all your hair so just keep away from them just protect it and that's it you don't need to be doing too much um, to it so the second thing we're going to be talking about like I'm going to be sharing with you is stop changing relaxers so I don't change relaxers I've been using the same relaxer for about almost 15 years now I started using soft and beautiful when I was I think 15 15 14 and i'm still using it up to this day they've changed the packaging the formulas have changed but it is still the same product it gets me the same results so don't be changing relaxers because that is not good for your hair your hair will get um used to one product and then you change it and then your hair gets confused so get one that works for you and stick to it so the third thing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is I don't go to the hair salon. Uh-uh, mommy. So my experiences that I've had in the hair salons were so bad that I just decided enough is enough. I'm going to start doing my hair. So if you do go to the hair salon, this is the tip I'm going to be giving you. And this is a public announcement. So take notes. If you go to the salon, and your hairdresser has no edges or you've seen her not learning anything doing the same hairstyles for years girl i tell you run out of there leave smoke behind don't even bother sitting there and wasting your time because if that hairdresser doesn't want to learn and is doing the same hairstyles for years and has no edges or can't take care of her own hair how is she going to take care or how is she going to show your hair some love so that was tip number three the fourth thing that i do not use on my hair is coconut oil i know some people are going to kill me for it, but i know it's good for some people hair but for me that's a no no i remember the first time when it was like the hype to use coconut oil and i was like i'm going to try it i put the coconut oil on my hair my hair started burning it was itching i had to wash my hair that night before i could sleep however if it's worked into a product like um with shea butter and other oils that one i don't have a problem with it by using it uh raw i can uh, handle that thing so the fifth thing i don't do to my hair is to use styling gel or edge controls however if you want to use it make sure you use a cream or an oil based cream to protect your hair before you use them styling jay i know as black girls we want our hair to be sleek and um, tight but if you use the styling jay make sure you're not pulling your edges because at the end of the day when you're still slaying you still want to have edges after that so that was the fifth um thing that i do not use um on my relaxer or my relaxed hair rather so the sixth thing that I absolutely do not do to my hair is comb my hair whilst it's wet. When you comb your hair when it's wet, you will just be pulling, especially when it's relaxed, you know, 
it becomes like a elastic so when it's wet and you're just pulling it you'll be pulling hair that is not supposed to be pulled out so don't don't comb your hair when it's wet um you can comb your hair when you're in the shower and the water is running through your hair that one you can do it because um it doesn't really um take that much um uh, how do you say take that much um of your hair like you don't really use force to comb your hair so that helps when you're in the shower and the water is running down your hair you can um comb your hair under the shower that time so the the seventh thing that i don't use on my hair is wear a bonnet or a scarf don't kill me people but i can i just can't handle anything on my hair like my sister is like that too we just when we have braids or weaves or anything in uh, our hair we just sleep like that i can sleep like that i don't have a problem with it and what is even the point anyway like when you even use it by the time you wake up you either be looking for it or it will no longer be on your head anymore so i don't even see um the use of um using it so that that was it for the six um things that i do not use on my hair absolutely not so the eighth thing that i do not use on my hair is hair color in the um, in the past I was um, coloring my hair like crazy. I would go from black to brown. I was still staying at the neutral colors. So if you're like my skin tone or even dark skin and you want to color your hair, stay away from the blondes, please. Stay away from the dye, bleach, blonde. That color, sorry, was not made for our natural hair if you stick to the browns and black those are natural colors it will not do anything to your hair but red blonde you have to make sure you bleach your hair before you can achieve that color and girl bleaching it your hair will dry out like crazy and that will cause breakage cause um all sort of things dryness your hair not being uh, moist enough so just keep away from the blondes and um, those flashy flashy colors if you want to do them do them on a wig that one you're not um you're not um damaging your hair so um that was the eighth um things i do not use on my hair so the ninth the last but not least is when i have a protective styling so i don't really do much protective styling like throughout the years i would do like two or three protective styling so if you have it the thing i do not do is to braid these edges don't even touch them don't even think about it because i don't know what it is with the edges but like your hair from here to here when you braid them they just start um twisting up it just catches dirt everything just gets stuck in there by the time you're ready to take it out the hair is like a uh, dread and then now you have to be pulling all the <laughs> the dirt and everything out of it to just be able to comb it by the time you're even done combing it you've lost half of that um hair so don't even bother going that way if you want to um, um save your edges don't touch them leave them edges alone that, that will help you with your edges and you will thank me later so the last thing we're going to be talking about and then we're done for this video girl 
i don't even know i'm so happy so the last last thing that we are going to be talking about like the thing that i absolutely do not use on my um edges is like on my sorry that i do not use on my relaxed hair is i do not wash my hair a week before i get a new relaxer so do not wash your hair a week before you get a new relaxer i know there are some relaxers out there in the market that you have to wash your hair before those relaxers are mostly used in the salon you have to wash your hair before you use the relaxer and i don't even see the use of it because the main point or the main reason for you your your hair not to burn faster is for you to have some dirt or i don't even know the correct word for you to have some grease or something there that will not just cause the relaxer to react at once so that it will cause you to burn so i don't even know why they made a relaxer that you have to wash your hair um before you use it i'm not fan of those kind of relaxers i've seen people doing it but personally i've never done it so i know this was 10 but there is one thing that i absolutely i have to add to this is um the one thing that's a no no the last thing no 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 don't do to my hair is wash my hair when it's in a protective styling that's not for me because i don't even see who i don't even know who started that trend that it is okay for you to wash your hair when it's in a braid or a weave because when your hair is even out and you wash your hair you have to comb it to get all those tangles out so when your hair is in a braid and you wash it all those dead cells and the dead hairs that you just build up in your hair will just be tangled in there because you can't comb your hair when it's in a braid so by you washing your hair using shampoos and um conditioners some of the products i don't care how much you wash that braid you know how difficult it is to even get your braids to dry how much more to get the conditioners and the shampoos out that um you wash your hair with it you can get them out but uh mind you you're not going to get everything out so that is the trend that i will not be doing anytime soon because my, my when i have braids it stays in my hair for like a month at least two months and a half before i take it out so i'm not going to be let um i'm not going to let products stay under my hair for two months just get stuck in there what would the result be that will resort into your hair breaking or you having so much hair loss when you are taking out that braid girl so that was it for this video i hope i was not rambling all over the place i hope you were able to take something out of all the things that i said all the things that i said the most important thing to me is the hairdresser part if you don't take anything out of this video take that one thing out of the whole video that i said and that will really help you so thank you guys for once again coming to my channel and watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one stay tuned